forest axes that are ready for their final check. I got these little trees with numbers on them, one through eight. Um, so I'm gonna just write here real quick before I play ball with my dog. Um, this is, this will be number one. Sort of a Jekyll and Hyde type of scenario. All of this is really, really dense and solid and there's no voids. It's just a beautiful part of the handle. Cross wedge, spalted, hickory. Okay, this is number one. Okay, this is number two. Number two. Okay, number three is another Jekyll and Hyde. Extremely straight up and down vertical grain. Again, dense, no voids. Wouldn't even be a handle if it, there were voids. Cross wedge, ash. Number four, oh, and I would say that number three is medium. It would be just for about anybody. There's a couple in here, um, this being one of them. They're all very ergonomic, but bigger hands, I would say. Another cross wedge. This is A plus hickory. Number four. Number four. Number five. Now this would be, this would really be an anybody. This is a nice, it's, I would say it's to the thinner side of life. It's really nice in here. And, but still has a lot of strength in the handle. Kids, kids or women's axe somebody with smaller hands. I have small hands. I really like the way it feels. Um, this is one of the, this is the only one that has a single wedge in it. It's ash wedge. So,
Now this is a more robust type of uh, handle. It's still very nice, feels very nice in the hands, but would be better suited for someone with medium to large hands. Um, again, nice tight vertical grain, just a little bit of cant to it. Um, <clears throat> this one also has a little bit bigger more robust of a bit. I mean, James is the same. We're making this stuff by hand, so um, all of this is the same within certain specifications, but I think I like part of it. The individuality of it is, is also nice. Um, let's see. But this is a real robust. that number five yes this was number five this one with the single wedge is five I was gonna say I either can't count or something okay there's five this one that I just showed you the robust one with a little bit larger of a head all of these heads are hovering around three pounds or less so we're heavier than the GB Forest X. Um, able to do the same things and more. <clears throat> okay, number seven is another one for small hands. Cross wedge. Fairly robust head. Come on, get off of there. Oh, come on. Sometimes I just have to put the tape on these because it saves you a freaking, it saves you, saves you that. Uh, still robust handle, but better suited for smaller hands, very comfortable. Um, these are not thin by any stretch. They're not, they're not fat by any stretch. Um, I just don't like a super thin handle. I would say these are probably all hovering around 13 16 to 7 8 A little bit smaller of a palm swell. Um, probably better suited for a pack, but still tight. Vertical grain, you know, most of that's running right, right down to the head. Um, let's see. Do that. So this is number seven. Oh, my little doggy gave up. seven and then this I think is the nicest one out of the bunch uh, another cross wedge ash and um, I think that's uh, Jatoba the red um, but super killer grain vertical and then it's got this little layer of grain right here that just didn't didn't take the the oil like the rest of it did um, this one will be a workhorse for sure too if you want to see one of these in action my buddy Nick Pixel has bought four of these and he, I believe he has a, uh, a video up of him just smashing he was cutting some trees down and he was just seeing how far he could push it 
Oops, sorry, didn't mean to knock the camera there. Um, I have yet to test one of these because they started selling the minute someone saw them. So I've never really had one that has been around here long enough to, to swing one. So anyway, this is number eight. All my axes are made by James Honecker blacksmithing in West Virginia. Um, he is, his quality is off the hook. Um, I have one more at the shop. Uh, like I said, it, it was a handle that I didn't want to stop production because one handle had a, had a little check in it. So, um, so it got it kind of got left behind. It'll probably get built, get built in the coming uh, weeks. But there you have it. Um, there's a pile of forest axes, and uh, everyone that's ordered, I will send you to this video first, and then once everybody has picked out their axe, it's just going to go in order of. Uh, you know, whoever ordered the first and then the second, third, blah, blah, blah. Um, and um, so, yeah. And then um, the remaining three, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're interested, just let me know which one. So I will talk to you later, and thanks for watching.